Hey, what's going on? Hi. So we're gonna try doing a vlog. <laughs> yeah. We don't um, know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing with it. We're we're on vacation and we're somewhere cool. So I thought it would be fun to kind of do a video and like yeah. have a record or, in a of our travels and what we're we're doing. And the lighting is so good right now. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong. All right, so we're in Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. We are in uh, Falmouth, Chi Ticket to be specific. And we just got done with dinner in downtown Falmouth. And we wanted to come down and check out the beach because we really haven't been to the beach yet since we've been here. And um, this is the beach. This is called Bristol Beach. And uh, we'll just do a, a little videoing while we walk down here. We're getting that nice uh, sunset light. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. That's beautiful. There it is. Oh, look at that. Atlantic Ocean here. What we're looking at here this is just gorgeous like the time of night we're here right now is just amazing and it is so beautiful this is what we're looking at it's just it's really spectacular When I was a kid, we used to just like collect these and pick them and choose like the prettiest ones or the best ones and like take them home with us. It's really cool. So we used to come down here to the Cape every year and rent a beach house. We started doing this in 2007 when my older daughter was two and my younger daughter was probably five months old and we rented beach cottages with me and my two girls and my sister and her family and my mother we would all stay in one house together and we did this every year for like many years and then when the kids got older it, got, it got, kind of got harder to do you know they had like more stuff going on with like school and activities and social life and um that just looks so nice and then COVID happened and you know we didn't come and then this year we were like we should do this again so we came back we came back down here rented a house in a different area and we've been here for a little bit over 24 hours at this point and we're having a really great time so far we haven't gone to the beach yet during the day but um we do like to come down here at night walk around not wearing the appropriate footwear, but um, it's just really nice to come down here and just uh, enjoy it. It's Good morning. Good afternoon, actually. Actually, like 2.30. <sighs> so I wanted to just check in. It is day two. Is this day two? I guess technically this is day three of our vacation. And um, I was thinking if I'm going to make this a vlog, I, I'm, I got to keep up with recording and having some footage from this trip because we're already, like I said, the third day in and I haven't really recorded much, so uh, today is Monday, and what have we done so far today? Um, got up early with Elizabeth, and we went for a walk. Just, just have to stretch out my arm. Um, if you walk to the end of our street, there is. I guess you could call it a beach. They're, they call it a beach. It's a pond. It's a pond. It's like marshy. It's a place where you can just go down and walk. 
you know, it's not what you would think of as a beach, like, you know, like a traditional, let's bring our blanket and umbrella down and like hang out at the beach. It's not that kind of beach, but if you just want to go put your feet in the water, you can do that. Okay, trying to figure out a way to set up my camera. Um, so we did that, and then we've kind of just been chilling. You know, we haven't really done anything. I was thinking about going to the beach today, but um, we drove out earlier, Elizabeth and I. We went to a bagel shop, and I wanted to kind of explore and go down by the beach area in the car and just check it out and see, like, you know, where's the parking lot? Where do you enter with our car? And where we park? Where we walk? How much does it cost? And there's two different beaches, and I noticed a lot of people on the beaches have like tent setups or big umbrellas and things like that you know we don't have any of those things so I'm not about like going and just lying myself out in the noontime sun where I know I'm totally gonna sunburn and basically fry <laughs> I mean I you know I don't know uh, without an umbrella and I kind of felt like everyone else like had umbrellas or tents that's a lot to carry to and pack up. I don't know. So I'm kind of like a let's go later in the afternoon kind of person when the sun isn't as strong. So maybe we'll, we'll do that. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else we've done. So I'm just like enjoying exploring and getting to know this area. Typically when we come to the Cape, we stay in West Dennis and Yarmouth. And this year we're in Falmouth, which is a totally different area. So we don't know anything about this area. So it's just been kind of cool to like explore the little downtown Falmouth area and find out like where is the bagel shop and where are the supermarkets and there's plenty around here uh, in the restaurants and we went to a really cool restaurant last night we went to a Mexican restaurant right on that main street in Falmouth it was really really good and my sister has her dog here with us this week so and she was kind of like oh you know what I don't know what about the dog and I was like just ask the restaurant if they're pet friendly a lot of people were walking dogs around, so I thought, you know, a lot of these businesses must be pet friendly. So we called and they said they were. We could sit out on the outside patio with the dogs. So we did that and it was awesome. It was really great. Um, we had a really good meal. I had mahi mahi tacos. I had a really good drink that was kind of like a rum punch, but instead of rum, it was tequila. My sister had a margarita. So it was really great. We're having fun. It's been cool. So that's just my check in for now. And um, like I said, my mom is driving down today. She's going to be here too. We're all going to be here. So um, I don't know what we're doing later tonight or the rest of the week even. Um, I know that some people wanted to go to Martha's Vineyard. When I say some people, I mean me. I wanted to go to Martha's Vineyard. Um, and there's actually a place where you can get the ferry right from here in Falmouth. And we don't have to go all the way down to Woods Hole. So we'll see. Hopefully we'll be doing that like tomorrow or the next day. And um, it's pretty cool. I'm just liking it here. You know, I like, I like the whole vibe. Yay, so my niece and my daughter are hanging out. And here's where we are. Beach parking lot, 7.30 at night. Hey, Ooh, I'm back. Oh, I just went for a run. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so sweaty. So, um, oh yeah, I just, oh my God, my face is like so red. Um, I just started running like a couple months ago. My daughter and I signed up to do a 5K and um, I started running like training for the 5K. Anyway, 5K is over, but I'm sticking with it because I like it. I'm enjoying it. It's uh, it's getting me in good shape. So, so at home, we live in like an area that's oh my god, feels good to sit down. Um, we live in an area area that's like a, a mill village, so it's hilly and it's down, like it's low elevation. So most of my runs are, are very uphill. So I'm so out of breath. But here at the Cape, 
it's very flat. And I found a route from our beach house that's a little under three miles in a circle. God, I'm not going to be able to stay out here that long. It's mosquitoes. Um, so it's really nice to be able to run flat versus at home where I'm going downhill and then all the way home up a steep hill. Which is good for like endurance and stamina and works different muscle groups and whatever. Blah, blah, blah. I know all that. But this is nice. Oh my god, except today we got home and I was like, I just want to do one more run here before we go home because it's nice to be able to, I like this. It's where I, you know, I'm, near, I'm running near the beach. But it's like 80 degrees, very thick humidity. And it's like, I am, I am sweating. I am buckets of sweat. I'm sweating in my bra. Sorry, TMI. Uh, anyway, so can't remember what I last vlogged, but God, we've been doing a lot this week. It feels like we've been here forever. Um, we're going home in two days. Uh, this is Thursday. We, we, um, we went to Martha's Vineyard. We did a ferry over to Oak Bluffs. And then today we went to Provincetown, which I had never been to before. So we've been on the go a lot. And uh, these are some long days. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I wasn't even sure if I would have the energy to run tonight, but um, I'm gonna go get in the shower now and like re refresh and reset. Um, trying to think what else we've done. Have we gone anywhere cool worth noting? Um, yeah, Martha's Vineyard was awesome. Uh, you know, we did like the basic touristy stuff that's in. Um, Oak Bluffs. Uh, we found a bowling alley in there, which was random. I've been to Martha's Vineyard so many times, but I had never been to that little village of the gingerbread houses. It's like right off of the the main. There's like this one main road in Oak Bluffs where all the shops are. And if you go like behind that, there's like this village, and it's like all the houses are around a circle, and there's an amphitheater in the middle and a church, and I have never been in there before. As many times as I've ever been to Martha's Vineyard, I've never seen it before. So that was really cool to see. Um, but anyway, that's it. Um, we got Mad Martha's ice cream while we were there. Um, yeah, it was really cool. So, yeah. Hey, good morning. It is Friday of our beach house vacation, and I am down at the end of our street at the Little Marsh on Great Pond. So typically, um, like Elizabeth and I have been getting up every morning and coming down here and doing a walk. If you come out of our beach house and go down the other end of the street, this marsh is here. So it's just like a few steps. It's like a short walk and it's really cute to walk around and like I love seeing all the other beach houses and like, oh, uh, it's also like classic New England and, um, you know, everybody's got like hydrangeas and wildflowers and it's so, so pretty. So anyway, I'm just going to do a little bit of the of footage from down here so you can see like where we've been walking every day there's Elizabeth right now there's a little um, stairs to get down and then it goes all along here This is Great Pond. Here's the view from the stairs. See, there's like a tiny strip of beach over there. We come down and walk this every morning. So now we're out on that end tip of that little marsh area and this is called Great Pond so pretty I think a 
bug just flew in my mouth. A um, bunch of boats out here have moorings. And that row of houses up there is where I was standing earlier. And now I'm down here. Some people out on a boat. Very cool. When we were down here yesterday and basically every other day. That whole section right there was not exposed. Like the water level is pretty low today. It must be very low tide right now. Because um, I've never seen it out that, that much usually. In fact, the first day we were here, none of this sand was available, and we saw a runner going along right there and running like in the grass because the water level was right up here. And now today it's much lower. So this is our last day. I don't know what we're going to end up doing. I think we're just going to take it as a chill day and um, go back to like the little main Falmouth shopping area, go to any um, stores that we might want to go to one last time before we leave. Get our last minute souvenirs and shopping and any t-shirt shops we wanted to go to. They have this cool little French bakery place on the main street in Falmouth and Elizabeth wants to go back there. So we'll probably hit that place up. Then we gotta like, you know, do laundry and get the get the rental house cleaned up. The place we rented was from Airbnb, so we have like a list of chores we have to do and just taking care of the house and leaving it basically in the condition we found it. So that'll be something we have to take care of later tonight. And um sad. Sad to leave, but I'm homesick. I'm ready to go home. I miss my home. I miss my flowers. I miss my pool. I miss my bed. So, this has been awesome, but I am, I'm ready to go back home.